five. So hold on. Well, I'm glad you at least got it. So, all right. That, that's probably going to be it, man. Okay. What up, Kodiak? Kodiak. Okay. Kodiak. <laughs> I know it has that delay on the audio, but hey, everybody, welcome back to Misfit Corner Comics Presents. This is the artist, Andrew, speaking, and we are live streaming. Sorry to be so late. I had errands to run, and I got hung up, and that's just life. Life happens, people. Plus, it's all nasty and wet outside, so I, I, I don't like driving at night, and I definitely don't like driving when it's wet and dark, so... And I cold. Had go, I had to go very slow. Ice yeah. Right. It's supposed to get into like the 60s tomorrow. It's going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to that. My wife went from selling two cars a day to selling zero for two days because of the oh, weather. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't, that's, that sucks. I'm telling you, this job is a roller case coaster and I hate it. <laughs> Isn't that most jobs, though? Yeah. Say, most but no, no, jobs. no, 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 no. You never know life. I mean, you never know the, difference of sales until you you've been around somebody that's in sales mm -hmm. because everything that i thought you know you'd get sued for if a company did it to you if you're you're considered you're considered freelance if you're selling cars so they can they can pull all kinds of mumbo jumbo on you yeah yeah, yeah. who didn't you didn't know that yeah well i mean i knew that but i've never lived it you know what i mean there's two different things there's things that I'm like, how they they printed out their pay the way they pay people, and it's like it's written in Greek. And I'm like, you gotta you gotta bend over backwards this way, then bend your toes this way, but make sure you hit your mark this way, or you don't get this and that and the other, divided by carry the mumbo jumbo, you know? Yep. Yep. BS. Yeah. Well, that's why I never trust car salesmen. Well, you can. Tr well, that's that's. I can. I would trust used, your wife, of course. So. Well, used but. car salesman. Car salesman is the problem. Is people don't realize you go to a restaurant to buy a steak. You don't ask for the steak for five bucks, even though you know that's what it costs. Right. Right. You 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 expect to pay the restaurant's fee, right? Well, when people go buy a car, they they go well. Why ain't I getting it for this? Well, that's what we paid for it. You know, it's like we got to keep our lights on too. You know. Well, before we get started, I have something to show you, but I got to tell you guys the story real quick. I promise. I'm, I'm sure it's awful. I promise I'll make it a quick story. I well, I can yell at later anyway. Okay. Oh, what? So I don't want to yell at you later. Why yell at me? Uh, I want to yell at you. Was it because of the uh, the J uh, Jack show? Yep. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Well, so needless to say, I got an email in the mail a couple days ago that I had a package on its way to me and the package was being sent to my old address. Now I didn't get really excited or I didn't get really nervous because there was a tracking um, link on it. And when I clicked on the tracking link, it was being sent from the post office, USPS. And I have a change of address into USPS. So I didn't think anything of it. It'd be fine. They'll just, it'll take an extra day or two and they'll forward it to me. Well, I drove past the old house this, this, after, this evening and I saw a box sitting on the doorstep. So I pulled in to home. I mean, we only live right around the corner. So I pulled in, I pulled up my, my phone, I went to the tracking. Turns out the damn package was delivered a day ago. Now, we know who bought the house. They're actually like family. So either they haven't been there in a day and a half or they just left the crap on the, on the front, pe front porch. And I'm kind of pissed that, that um, they didn't forward it because it was USPS, but I got my uh, my um, box from Doug to Naples. I don't care. So I'm looking forward to open this up. I may share this yeah, with no you guys later. You. Okay. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Look at the image that they put on the back. I don't, I'm not even looking, dude. Okay. Well, that's fine. What's up, Rick? Not much. Yourself? Oh, not too bad. I got I got mail, so I'm happy. Ah, what did you get in the mail? I got something from Doug to Naple. Oh, Bigfoot Bill? Yeah. No, 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 not Bigfoot Bill. This is Earthworm I mean, Jim. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, Earthworm Jim, dear. It used to be a video game thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll open this up a little later. But in the meantime, we're going to start drawing. Oh. Ah. So uh, what's new and happening with all you guys? Anything uh, interesting? No. No? Hey, Dillard well, uh, says, where's my, tr- my track, Kodiak? First and most beautiful, most glamorous and fancy. I think he's talking about himself. Hey, D, what's up? D says, please, no peep show. The fans want a salad show. Guys, I have been eating salads for the last like, several days. My coworker was very, very happy with me because I went out and bought salad fixings and we have a fridge like right around the corner from where my office is and I stacked I stocked it with some so I had salads for lunch I didn't have to go out and I had salads for lunch so no I don't like different kinds of salad dressing D I'm 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 a I'm a one salad dressing kind of guy can you guys guess what salad dressing I like all dressed no that's not a dressing that's a chip (laughs) what'd you say there Yes, tonight was fine. It was strawberry vinaigrette. Strawberry vinaigrette. Okay. Well, I like I like pretty much the the vinaigrettes, the balsamic. And my wife said we did strawberry tonight. That was fine too. So. And to answer Dillard, I've been working on it every day except today because I'm feeling shaky as hell today. Uh oh. Uh oh. Your blood have sugars you, are low. Eaten? Nope. Still haven't broke the fast. Uh oh, that's, that's probably got something to do with it, dude. Well, I, I I think I changed my sleeping like last night and the night before. I the Latin the night before I stayed up just working, working till like four o'clock in the morning, and then last night with the Jack show I was up until four o'clock in the morning or whatever it was. I I I watched it. I listened to it at work and yeah. listened to more of it at home, but I didn't la- listen to the last few minutes because. I wasn't interested in the signing off. I didn't listen to that until just a little while ago. I, and I have been playing it. I, did, I think I might have forgot it last night, Dylan. I, did, I, did, did, I, I had to go back and watch because I'm, I'm pretty positive Kelsey crawled. He didn't fall. He crawled on, He crawled to his bed. But the on first watch, watching it live, I was like, is dude dead? <laughs> Did the dude die? He drank on 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 that Jack show. He drank almost an entire bottle of vodka. Oh, jeez, is that a lot? Yeah, uh, yeah, it would be like. Oh, the 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 whole stream lasted about four hours, and I'd say he passed out about two and a half hours in, three hours, or at least started slowing down. So, entire bottle of vodka. About two and a half hours. Yeah, that's way too fast. Yeah, yeah, he was drinking. At first, I thought he was acting. He was just playing drunk. Yeah, then you seen the sweat pouring off his brow. <laughs> I mean, he was gone. Yeah, I, I I started to watch the the Jack show uh, while I was at work, but I only did half a day at work, or a, not a full day at work, so. I only got through about an hour, hour and a half of it. So I think I, I think I stopped or I had to stop right after um, uh, what's her name joined. Once she got in, it was time for me to start wrapping up work. So but glad to see Malin's got his uh, live streaming ability back. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, you might be interested in the stream I'm going to do tomorrow. Um. Uh, ugh, Andrew, I'm oh, gonna yeah? be I'm gonna be going through all my comics. Oh yeah, sorting them. You can <laughs> they're sort of upside down, but you can see them. I just <laughs> talk to the camera. Rick, those don't look like they're in bags and boards and all that good stuff, are they? So some of them are, some of them are probably three quarters, half, two thirds are. What are you doing, having your ba- your comics just sitting out without bags and boards? Oh well, they were in bins that I just took them out today to sort them for tomorrow's show. Get everything ready. Oh yeah. And tomorrow they'll be going back into the bins. You know, I'm gonna sort DC, Marvel, and then you know each book title by each book title. 
and show them off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did get some comics for this evening, but I don't know if we'll get to them or not. So we'll see what happens. I do have something for a peep show, but I won't do it for those of you out there who are sensitive to that kind of stuff. All right, what's Dillard saying? It's Dillard. not worth it, dude. It, you're, you're literally got blood in your eyeballs. Yes, I know, I know, but I'm, I've gotten better. I, well, what's so funny is that I, was, I, I had printed out my uh, numbers since my appointment on Friday and this morning, and I was showing them to my coworker, and she was impressed that I had literally cut my numbers in half in less than a week. And I said, do you know what that's from? That's from me taking my medicine, checking regularly, and eating right. I mean, I know how to, I know how to handle it. You know, it's just... I wasn't doing it and that you don't <laughs> it's all 100 percent on me and i know but i can i i literally i know what i have to change and i'm doing it so i'm taking care of myself better and i have no excuse for not doing it other than the fact i just didn't do it i mean i know what i have to do it's just doing it so and my wife says i can cheat from time to time on little things i just can't eat the way i was eating you know i can't sit down and eat a whole box of cookies not that I ever sat down and ate a whole box of cookies, but I just, I could have one or two cookies and that's it. You know, I can't eat, you know, a lot of stuff, but right now I'm not, I'm matter of fact, one of my, one of my regular things I do every Friday is when I go to Whataburger and you guys know how much I love Whataburger, um, is I have the Whataburger app. So you buy five <laughs> things. You call it Whataburger. Whataburger. <laughs> Whatever, you know. And you buy five things through the week and you get something free. And I always get, are you leaving? All right. Later. All right, man. Later, Andrew. I, I mean, Avery. <laughs> oh my God, he did it again. Cody X got himself booted, so I guess it's just me and you. That's all right. That's all you right. and me, me and you. <laughs> I just didn't want any... So as I was saying, I was trying, I was trying to finish the story as I have the Whataburger app, which every five purchases I make gives me a free item. And I always save it for Friday and I get it. One of those big, huge cinnamon buns as my free item on Friday. And it's a Friday thing. I did not get it this morning. I just got the normal sandwich and threw away the bun, half the bun and ate the hash browns and the sandwich and the, in, the interior of the sandwich. So uh just a in his comics is asking is that burger joint you're talking about from new jersey from new jersey i'm not a hundred percent sure i know i know i it just whataburger has only recently come to jacksonville like within the last five years before the, the only place we knew of to, to get whataburger was uh tallahassee so that's like um, we have Steak and Shake here in Jacksonville, but originally you used to have to go all the way down to Orlando to get a, to get Steak and Shake. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Well, <laughs> that's because you're you're one of those you're one of those damn dirty Canadians. So <laughs> we'll see if anybody. Uh, uh, Dila uh, Dila was all things says no cookies, fat boy. No, you no, know, uh -huh. you know what we don't have because everything you got to go to is driving, and it's not like a big city. Um, even our city isn't like a big city where you can get home or chef, home chef restaurants like in like New York Pizza or something like that. You get you, all you have to choose from really is industrial like Domino's and and Burger King and, and at the best, I mean like restaurants like uh uh. Cabaneras or whatever that is, that's that, that's the best you can get. But you don't get no home style. You 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 you, you so occasionally get home style pit barbecues, um, and that's what you'll likely to find when you find something that is began prepped and everything done in house. And me and my wife have been craving that, those kind of restaurants, you know. So sit down, mom and pop type restaurant, really fancy, and we'd be willing to pay an extra buck for that, but. You don't find that down here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not big in to sit down and eat restaurants. It has a lot to do with um, 
I, I just I usually just get everything to go, and that's uh, has a lot to do with my my wife and I. We really shouldn't be eating a lot of food, so aha, you don't, you don't go out and have a big deal. I found you know. the cause. I'm dizzy today and fatigued because I'm dehydrated. <laughs> 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 yeah, Isn't that funny. So, so you're coloring hero with crayons. Yeah, that's just awesome. I think. Uh, yeah, it's something I've never actually done before. So I found the crayons and I wanted to give it a shot. Also, why does uh, and Dillard said? Also, why does Andrew think he can eat sugar at all? Oh. Doesn't he know that? Eating one sugar cookie or one slice of bread will affect his blood sugar for a week. Just stop with the sugar. It isn't even good. Yeah, I know. But um, <laughs> what I was going to say is I have medicine to combat that. So. so technically, if I take my medicine, I watch my diet, you know, test my blood sugars regularly. I, I'll be okay. You guys don't have to worry about me. I'll be okay. You know a lot of that medicine causes the shit, right? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Well, I'm not taking I'm not taking the uh, fast-acting stuff. I'm taking the, the long-term while I sleep stuff. I, it doesn't matter. Look up the doctor that points out that, you know, it, it, well, just remember, the, remember, they're in the business of making more... They want you as a return client. They don't want to give you the, you know, the things that actually get you out of that. Don't, uh, you know, the, the take the medicine to get your uh, your sugar up, and then they take the medicine to get your sugar down. Now I'm simplifying, of course, but that's what all the medicines and diabetes do. Well, they've proven almost 10 years ago diabetes can be um, cured. And in the 90s, when my dad had it, as a matter of fact, my dad passed out behind the wheel, if you remember, and died in a car accident because of diabetes. Right. right. They didn't think they didn't think there was a cure for diabetes. Now, a lot of doctors are going, why are we still prescribing these people this? You said you're on a low carb. You're eating salads and stuff like that. If you can find the right doctor, always do it under a doctor, but find the right doctor to start bringing your medicines down because your medicines can actually start messing you up now yeah well that's that's one of the things my when my doctor and i we first started talking about it he said he had a patient one time who when he found out he was diabetic and they put him on a regimen of insulin he says no i'm not going to do this he went out he started eating healthier started exercising and he got it well under control to where he doesn't have to take exactly. insulin and then and it's it's doable it's absolutely doable and you know, I'm not going to be a fat F for my entire life. You know, I've got to, it's now time to work on it. And that was know, my dad's absolute worst fear was having to stab himself in the belly with insulin. Yeah. Well, I'm taking, I'm taking some now as my, uh, my, my nighttime stuff. So I have you, no can idea. Can you poke yourself anywhere in the belly with that thing? My Nana used to do it. And I, I was like, I, I was intrigued. My dad hated needles, boy. I'm sure you can. I mean, I have a spot that I usually go to, but yeah, though I'm I'm I don't know. I'm deathly afraid of putting it in my butt. I don't know why. I can't I can't do the butt thing. <laughs> I'm clipping that. I'm clipping it. I'm <laughs> clipping it. I'm clipping it. Uh, I, just to I... just to recon says he works in the metal medical field. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Don't listen to a thing Kodiak says. He's crazy. I absolutely agree with you. Don't listen to a thing I say. Look it up for yourself. So what's new and happening in the world, guys? I mean, I've been watching a little bit of news, but there's so much stuff. Oh, I got to tell you, this, this, is the this is the reason why I ask. I, you know when you log into YouTube, uh, especially if you're using your phone, right? Um, you can go to your notifications and you get you see all the, all the stuff that all the stuff that you subscribe to and all the new stuff that's come out uh, that you subscribe to. I rarely ever go to the section that says trending, you know, I, cause you know, that's not, none of it is what I want to see. I want to see my stuff and, and, and that's it. Well, today I went to the trending section. The things that people like 
that's a bunch of stupid stuff. I don't know about you guys, but it, I mean, it was dumb. It was like, there was at least three videos with Kylie Jenner. And I'm like, what the, who cares? But there's people out there that are, you know, I thought everybody was obsessed with Star Wars. No, it was it, the, the videos that were in there that were in the trending were. Where did you, where did you go for trending? Just, just the trending page, just the and main YouTube. trending page on YouTube. Yeah. Maybe that's what you've been looking up. <laughs> no, no. None of that stuff was stuff I was interested in. I just thought it was like, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing YouTube picks out, you know, the ones that are getting the most traction and so forth. And that's what's trending. But yeah. man, it was some really dumb stuff. I mean, it was so dumb. I can't even, you know, I can't even comprehend is, how dumb it was. Okay, mine is the best of 2019. But that's not as funny as the next one, which is the top five fit for me, and it has a woman losing her bra. Oh, well. It looks like all three are fail videos. Let's see. That might be based on my no, <laughs> my history. Right. Well, see, I get, I get a lot of politics stuff because uh -huh. I, have, I have some of the news stations that, that, I, that I get notifications from, and I get a lot of star wars and comics gate stuff but damn it was like some of this stuff was like it, there was rap videos and yeah yeah I got, I'm like what is i'm not there i'm looking at it right now and it's like the top 10 or rap videos and people i've never heard of dude what is it when a white dude does rap why does he have to look like a jacksonville crackhead I mean, oh i think like i think something happened with eminem recently somebody okay. like challenged him to a rap battle or something so that's one of the reasons why it's it's in there because people are looking that up uh, okay i don't know if he actually did it or not or but if it ain't vanilla I ice think, i don't want to know about it i don't think anybody wants to end their career by heading off with uh eminem oh it was nick cannon he's not even a, yeah nick cannon did it Taunts no. Eminem with another diss track, but that, but that's not even that's not even who's up there. There's a bunch of these. Oh, I broke my crayon. And I tell you what, if you notice, even in the Rambo movie, there was like a backing track of like hip hop. I'm like hip hop, is, and it's bad hip hop. Even the old school hip hop guys that I might find myself listening to every now and then dislike the new hip hop. And it's like you can't even hear a rock and roll band anymore. And it's like where where's my heavy metal, man? Now I like my I like R and B, but the R and B that's been coming out is kind of like it's auto tuned and it's it's not R and B. It's not uh, uh, my heroes are dead, man. Give me give me um, Prince, Michael. Give me TLC. You know. Mystics. Oh, I was at some point I I was losing <laughs> while I was at work for some reason I couldn't pick up the internet. We have we have a Wi-Fi in the in the building, and for some reason I wasn't able to pick it up. So I, in in order to not kill my my data plan, I went ahead and just started listening to music that I have on my phone. So I had something to listen to, and of course I have Glee soundtracks in there, and um, oh. one of the one of the songs God. one of the songs was uh, Prince's Kiss. Oh, I, I like singing this. Yeah, yeah, I like singing that. That's a good one. That's a good one. I actually for, kind of not forgot about it, but it's been at the back of my mind. And you mentioned it the other day, and I'm like, I need to listen to that. I still haven't yet. It's one of those ones where I I heard it on the radio the other day while I was driving mm -hmm. to the flea market, and it's one of those songs where if you know some of the words, it doesn't really matter how well you sing because you know even if you're a screechy. You know, you know it, it's still okay. It works with that song. Back in the 90s, did you listen to uh, Boys to Men? No, I don't think so. I'm not a unbended knee. That's, you know, they also redid Yesterday. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far. Of course, they did an R&B. You don't remember that band? I mean, I, the, that boy group, technically? I know of them, but I didn't listen to them. I figured that would be up your own. Dude. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I Duh. lived them. I'm, I don't even care. I lived them back then. It was mm. I was all about Michael Jackson, um, 
Boys to Men, TLC. I was not into uh, metal and alternative music until mid '90s. Oh, you probably weren't around when Michael Jackson came to Jacksonville for the. Um, it was the Thriller tour. No, I, I was around. I was just uh, like five. My uh, it, my my next what door was that eighty three. Yeah, it was in the eighties. It was in the eighties. But my uh, our next door neighbor got tickets and was going. And my mom was like kind of so jealous. He, uh, so he not only got to see Michael, but he got to see classic Michael, yep. thriller Michael. Yep. yep. They got pictures. They got pictures of him during that time while he's singing and sweating, and you can see the what is it called alopecia? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I remember having the uh, Michael Jackson dolls, mm-hmm. and I was never a I was never a big Michael Jackson fan, but he was so. He was so popular that that was that was the definition of pop culture back then. You know, when I, when, when my kid was starting to listen to music, I I wanted to be very carefully and because when they're early, you can shape the direction, but once they turn a teenager, it's all up to them. You know, so but you can have an influence on them early. So I made sure the Beatles, the, I brought the, the Beatles out of the closet. Yep, and, and Michael Jackson. Guess who my two my kids' two favorite artists are? Who? Michael Jackson. Well, I introduced my daughter to the Beatles and to Elvis, and the I Beach haven't done Boys. The, Elvis thing. the Beach Boys was probably yeah. I have done, yeah. Ba Ba Buran was. Her I did. I did uh, my favorite, which was the uh, what is the one about the boat? Well, a lot of them is about the boat, um, but the Sloop John B. Oh yeah. <laughs> We actually got to go. Wow, that's loud. That's not. Sorry, me. that's my tablet. I just turned it on. And <laughs> wasn't expecting it to do that. Yeah, well, stop it. It's still doing it. <laughs> so, um, when my daughter was younger, we actually have pictures from this. But there was a Beach Beach Boys concert here in Jacksonville, and uh, my parents wanted us all to go, so we went, and it was at the uh, the park whatever the park is that's across from the stadium. And um, we got there late and we parked and we went in, it was a free concert and we went into one of the back entrances and uh, we got, we were behind the stage and I was like, Oh, this is cool. There's spaces behind the stage. And we sat down and I don't know if I've told you the story before, but we were right next to Tim Deegan and his wife and kids. And I realized we were sitting in the VIP section behind the stage and we were like, just everybody be calm. Pretend like we're supposed to be here. Nobody ever said anything to us. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we were not supposed to be back there. But because the concert had already started and everybody was there, I guess security kind of just went, eh, whatever, and just left because there wasn't any security. Was. My wife says, yes, there was, but I don't remember there being any security. You didn't have to take two kids to the bathroom four times. Isn't Donna Deegan running for like mayor or something? Oh no no no! She's running for Congress. Oh really? You know, you know. All I every time I hear their name, all I think about is the the nineties when uh, when Dan Hicken found them in the news van doing it. Uh-huh. Well, See, my neighbor told he was in the military and he had a lot to do downtown, so he told me about it. But everything he told he and he was an adult. I was a kid, and uh, everything he told me we had to take with a grain of salt it was based in truth but it could be uh exaggerated uh, exaggerate exaggerated it wasn't until a decade later when we had uh, internet that you could find out that was actually true there was actually like a, a police report because dan and and tim deegan got in a fight but yeah they were in a news van doing it and and dan he hick and come and rip the door open and got in a fight with tim yep well, well, it's what happens when you marry celebrities and celebrities get married. And well, that, That's just it. If you've ever talked to this douchebag, he thinks he's a celebrity because he's on the news. He's on the local news. Shut up, Tim Deegan. <laughs> 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 but no, I've, I've I don't seen know if him. you've seen him lately. He has not aged well. No, because it's all that sun, dude. He's a he's a surfer boy. He's a surfer boy. But yeah, he yeah, he did not. He did not age well. No. You can see every every ounce of. Uh, uh, of oh, that's that's looking good. 
And John said, I can't listen to Andrew in denial. It's too sad. I have to go by. Yeah, he left. You can't yeah. listen to Andrew oh, in what? Be in denial. I guess I'm out here. First yeah. Avery, now John. All my loved ones are gone. Ah, eh, screw them. <laughs> this is the You're best show on too. this is oh, the best hey, show hey, on hey, the hey, internet. Avery's oh, back. Hey Avery. You weren't listening, were you? Some of it. Okay. You want to hear something? We were just talking about local stuff. Nothing so, important. I, I, everybody, everybody knew what was going on before they caught him because they used to be in public together all the time. Before uh, Dan caught him. Mm-hmm. I don't know the details, but I think it's funny as hell. It's it's sad, dude. The guy got it, humiliated publicly. Yeah. He, he got like she publicly cucked him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like true. that's. You know what's so weird about those newscasters is they live in the city, so you can you, you can see them out in public. Yeah, yeah, I, their families. I, I, yeah, I you know? I saw Donald and the, the weather dude. Yeah, yeah, they um they used to if you went down to Jack's Beach, you seen them all the time running up and down, and nobody messed with them. It's just like you know. uh, San Marco too. Yep. Local beaches. <laughs> I think he was riding a bike and she was running, or vice versa. I can't remember. No, they were. Uh, Cross, do you have beaches near where you live? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I had no idea. I mean, so, guys, in the uh, 10 minutes. Uh, Hamilton is right on Lake Ontario. So. I Wait, does that in... count as a beach if it's on a lake? Yes. I don't know about that. I typed it in. Why do I feel dizzy? Why do I feel whatever? It says you're dehydrated. I'm like, that's funny. And then I looked it up. It says that you're not putting salt in your water, and I'm sure it wasn't. So I put some sea salt in my water. I've been drinking it for about 15 minutes, and I feel great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, you're seeing the salt. Yeah. It, it makes your it makes your body hold onto the water because your body's first thing is to pass the water. Didn't we talk about that before in the salt? Yeah. Uh, see. I, for that's, 10 days go ahead that's the reason gatorade has electrolytes uh-huh. salt. Uh, that mm-hmm. you're just becoming really salty yeah <laughs> exactly um exactly. the first 10 days i had no problem i drank tons of water probably was afraid i was drinking too much but the past two days i've not even wanted to look at water mm. you did that with crayons dude Yes. But I kind of hate you. Well, I've never really used crayons Cousin, before. And... Before he passed away last year, he was in the hospital, so he picked up some crayons. And he was a tattoo artist like 10 years ago, and he had to quit because diabetes attacks your ability to do stuff like that, apparently. But uh, anyways, so he, he picked up while he was in the hospital, he picked up some crayons and I'm, I'm like, dude, you could sell that. It's so good. You know, the shading and then and the multi-layering and stuff like that. It was like a wa- watercolor only with Crayola. I mean, crayons. Oh, yeah. 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 I've, I've never been a big fan of color. I mean, Avery knows this. I, I, I was never very good with color and, you know, but every now and then I get the urge and. We're going to slap some color down on the ground. We'll see what happens. Oh. So does anybody so does everybody have big huge plans for the holidays? I mean, no. I mean, I know Christmas is on a Wednesday, which means I probably will not be live streaming that Wednesday unless unless you guys need it, unless you need me to be out here doing this for you, you know? Yeah, I'm probably not even going to do a live stream at noon that day. No. I'll probably do my verse of the day thing, but other than that, yeah, you can pre-record that early and just set it to go up that day. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we're doing our because uh, because uh, my family, a lot of everybody is going to be out of town for the holiday. We're doing our gift exchange like this weekend, <laughs> so that's what everybody was available. So yeah, it's like okay, cool. I won't be there at least at the beginning because I'll be at the market, but. That's looking real good, Andrew. Yeah, we'll see how it comes out. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with the background. But right now, I'm just playing. 
Just playing. Uh, you're very good at playing. That's <laughs> with himself. <laughs> Listen, Ahmed. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Dillard's back. Hmm. Why isn't my... Uh... He hey. is? No, he's not. Oh. Dillard says, if you already passed the point of metformin and glibberin, you are eating... No, Well, metformin is one of the medications I was supposed to be taking every day, and I wasn't, so I'm back to taking it, so... It wasn't that I wasn't taking, I just... No. No, I, there's no excuse. I have no excuse. Oh, by the way, Avery, um, the that leaf pattern thing that you were that we were looking for worked perfect, worked great. I still need to play around with some of the brush settings because I've I've never messed with the brush settings before. But um, I just I got I guess I got to get in there and just play around with it. But uh, I appreciate the help with that. Avery's a good man. No, Don't tell really. nobody. I'm Don't tell horrible, nobody. Horrible person. You know what? I'm a horrible, horrible person. Yeah, that's his. That's his. That's his persona. Oh. So, like I was saying, anybody got any big plans for the holidays? Got family visiting? Got? No. Ross, what are you doing? Anything? No, not really. No, no money, and you better do something nice for your mom. She puts up with you. You better do something nice for her. Only thing I got planned is uh, cook a turkey that Ooh. I bought that I bought last month. Well, you, you, hey, you know what I love about my family is my the majority of them is comes from Italian. Mm -hmm. So on the big holidays like Easter and Christmas, it's lasagna is our main dish. Oh, that's now, cool. there's also a, there's also a ham and sometimes talk there's a my turkey, language. But, oh yeah, I always look forward to the lasagna. Well, we'll figure something out because I don't think. Oh, it's my wife's parents that are doing Christmas. Uh, lasagna. I like lasagna. Yes, lasagna is good. Yeah, it's. Yeah, but I only get it like one or two times a year, you know. Unless I, unless we make it, you know. That's what she said. What the hell was that? Oh, that was my phone. All right, so sounds more was, like what he said. All right, so this is me just playing. I only get it sometimes. Avery, what do you think? Did I do a good job? I don't know. I can't see. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> I was playing around doing yeah, the here. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't have any control. I, I screwed up on his on his the bridge of his snout. I, the line got too big, and that's going to uh, annoy that. Just just looks like some shading. It's gonna annoy. Yeah, it's, yeah for for crayons, it's, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's gonna annoy the crap out of me though. But but I may add more to it later. But I just I just I just had I just found the box of crayons and I really just wanted to play around with them. So. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, for crayons, oh, hold on, right. just a quick second. Yeah, I've got a I've got a few crayons. Although. Those are, I've got some uh, pastel in there too. I don't know why that that made me think of. I I, I know what I can get my wife. And it, I can if I if I draw. She's bugging me to draw the kids. If I draw the kids, that's an easy out. Oh yeah, doing doing like personalized sketches for people for Christmas is a good thing. I did that. Well, I no, never make anyone uh, something for for. Christmas or their birthday, like a card, like if it's a woman, never ever do it. All right, don't listen to Avery it's because you'll material. be stuck having to do it oh, every yeah. time for the rest of your life, that they will be offended. Yeah. Well, I did there the first year because it took me two years to complete Hero Book One, and in the first year, I made a point that I was not going to do anything else but Hero. And uh, when Christmas came along, my parents decided that we were going to do a everybody make something for everybody type of Christmas. So don't go out and buy anything, make something. 
So I took the opportunity to do a drawing for everybody, uh, my mom and my aunt and my, you know, and, and my sister and so forth. And I did hero, but I did hero in something that they would appreciate. Like my sister's a Peter Pan fan. So I did an image of hero with an alligator in the background and a pixie flying around him. And he had a sword and a Peter Pan hat. I have another aunt who likes doorways. So I had Pudge and hero like standing in front of this doorway that I, I swiped directly from the Lord of the Rings movie. Uh, just, <laughs> just stuff like that. And um, that was a lot of fun. And I ended up using those as pinups in hero book one. But um we really, there's only been one or two aunts that I've actually done more hero art for. So, but I actually, I have a one aunt who had three dogs. And at the time I was doing uh, sketches of her dogs as hero characters. And one year I designed, they were pirates. Her dogs were pirates. And then um, next year, you're I, from the North. What? You keep saying aunt, like you're from the North. I am from the north. I was born in Rhode Island. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a yeah. I'm a Yankee. My mother-in-law hates it. That. I remind her all the time we won the war. Pisses her off every time I mention it. Well, my mom was born in Jersey, so yeah. I'm half half Southern, half. <laughs> no, my family. My family. I'm on my mom's side. Is um, crazy, crazy New England liberals. I mean. Yeah, really I just realized how much that don't count because her mother was a, a Georgia peach, so and my grandfather was born in Scotland and and came here at like six months, so I guess oh, yeah? I have no northern whatsoever except for the fact that my mom spent twelve years there. So all right, since the only person here sharing their screen or sharing their camera is is Cross and he has nothing on his table, I'm gonna spotlight me and show you guys the books I bought this evening. Yeah, I have oh, I've got all these other books. <laughs> I have we already saw that stack of books, but oh, oh, I did actually buy. I did actually buy two brand new comics. Um, this, these were for me though. Um, the first one was uh, Basket of Heads number two, which I really, really enjoyed. The second, the first issue, and the second issue, there wasn't a lot of dialogue in it. It was just straight drama. It was fantastic. It was, it was a good book. And uh, the second, the second one I bought was uh, this Dark Knight Returns: The Golden Child. I've only flipped through it yet. I haven't actually read it yet, but um, I really, I'm as a Batgirl fan. When I saw the original image of this Batgirl, um, where she's all she's standing on top of the the bodies of the Jokers that she beat, it didn't look good. But I like this. I like it in this position, this pose here. So I don't know Does if it was Supergirl just Supergirl have blue hair. Yeah. No. Oh my God. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm. So I'm looking forward to reading that. I haven't I haven't gotten to it yet, but I'm going. It's got to. a bunch of my Trump stuff. It does. It has a lot of Trump stuff in there, but I think I, I haven't I haven't watched Zach's video yet, but I bet it's not because Frank Miller is anti-Trump. I think it's more because he that would piss people off. <laughs> you know. But uh. More because he wants work or he needs work. Yeah. Uh, first thing I got here is uh, Haro County number four. Um, I actually had uh, one of my customers, one of my regulars come in and buy up all the issues that I had of this series in the store because um, I recommended it to him because I told him it was really good. And I do not believe I had this issue. So I picked it up to let him take a crack at it because he bought all the other issues because I, I recommended them to him. So uh, we got Infinite Crisis number seven of seven. Every now and then whenever I see this one, I pick it up. I mean... It is George Perez. There's also some uh, um, Jimenez in there, but uh, you know, it's a double size. It was originally priced. What was the original price? Three ninety nine. So picking it up and selling it for a buck, not a big deal. This one is a blast from the past. This is a pit number ten. Look at that fantastic cover, Dale Keown. Actually, um, this one's inked by uh, Dan Panosian. That's weird. That is really weird. All right. Not really. Um, well, I remember him being crappy back in those days. He, was, he this started was... out as an inker, dude. Really? Okay. I don't think I remember that. He used to ink Coley Hamner when Coley Hamner did the uh, Freelander Mosaic. 
Mm, okay. Uh, let's see, we got a we got a Ron Garney Daredevil issue number thirteen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a Somni cover, but uh, actually I can't tell for sure. But okay. Uh, picked uh, found an issue of Star Wars. This is from the uh, Marvel run. This is issue number fourteen. Uh, I had a I told you guys the story about the lady who cleared out all my Star Wars stuff. So it's good to have some Star Wars stuff in there. Uh, Shadowland Daughters of the Shadow number one of three. I picked this up because I actually, whenever somebody comes into the store and they're looking for something specific, I always try to keep an eye out for it. And I actually had a young lady who came in looking for Shadowland stuff. And I do not remember if this was one of the ones that she was looking for, but eh, you never know. Uh, the Fall of Sinestro, issue number Land two. based on the comic, I mean the video game? What? Is Shadowland based on the video game? No, I think it was um, it was just a storyline that was going through Daredevil. It also had Power oh. Man and Iron Fist and Daughters of the Dragon and um, who else was involved in the Shadowland storyline? Try, I think the Punisher maybe at one point, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, Sinestro issue, Brad Walker uh, on art, very cool. Uh, hello, Nighthawk. Nighthawk's in the chat. Oh, so oh. hey, Nighthawk. How's it going? Hey, Nighthawk. Um, we have we have an issue of Daredevil from the uh, Bendis and Malieve era. Um, I don't know why. I think I actually have a couple copies of this in the store already. I just really like that cover. It just, uh, I don't know, it speaks to me. You know, there's something about it that I like. Uh, just a random issue of Birds of Prey. Um, I have a strange feeling that people are going to start coming into the store looking for Birds of Prey stuff. I don't know why. You know, I don't, I don't know. Movie, maybe. But, yeah. Uh, I got two issues of Legion of Superheroes in here just because they had fantastic um, Steve Lytle uh, covers. And, I mean, this one, just so cool. I really like this. But this is from mid-'80s. Uh, 1985. What's this one? Oh, this is issues 10 and 13, so right around the same time. Um, I was not collecting Legion of Superheroes, so I wasn't into any of these, but this was some rather really, really good art, so I'm looking forward to checking out the stories. Uh, this is Martha Washington Saves the World. This is number three of three. This was the last one I needed. I have one and two, so I will actually be putting them together as a set. So if anybody is interested in any Martha Washington, I have some of those issues in the store. Was that any good? Never read it. Never. The original series, which was uh, Give Me Liberty, was really good. The, the follow-up, which was Martha Washington Goes to War, which I have a couple of those. Um, Dave Gibbons kind of, you could tell he went with larger panels and larger splash pages. Um, I don't know if it was, you know, in, uh, in order to speed up the process of making the book or not, but... Uh, I mean, it's still two of the best in the business, Frank Miller and Dave Gibbons, yeah. you know? I mean, it's entertainment. Um, oh, hey, Nighthawk. I'm doing good. Doing good, man. He put out uh, Martha before he put out Sin City, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Well, this was, this was um, no, no. This, Sin City probably happened before this part of this, the series um, because he was doing, with Dark Horse, he was doing the Legend series, mm -hmm. and he kind of incorporated... Um, Sin City into the Legend imprint with Mike Mignola and John Byrne and Alan Davis or not Alan Davis, Art Adams um, so this kind of he started Sin City they started the Legend imprint he put Sin City into Legends and then he expanded his Legend lines with some of this stuff and I mean I'm kind of amazed that this one doesn't say Legends on it but oh well but we'll take a look at it later uh, got Siege number four of four. This is the limited series with Bendis and Koi Pell on art. Uh, just a good series if nobody's ever read it. Um, somebody recently took pretty much bought up all my uh, Captain Americas. So whenever I see a new an issue of Captain America, I grab it. Did this you just say Cap America? Captain America. I didn't say <laughs> Captain America. Cap America. Cap America. I wonder if I can do a a. Um, a uh... Uh, what is it called? A spoof? Call it Cap America. Cap America. You never know. Cap America. This is an issue of uh, Batgirl. I just really like the uh, I like the cover on this one. Um, this is from the the uh, not real Batgirl 
day, days in which uh, it was, what's her name? The one that, that wore the mask that covered her whole face. Oh, Cassandra Cain. Cassandra Cain, yeah. she's. I'm not a fan, but uh, I really like this cover. So I don't know why. I just did. Uh, Nighthawk saying, Bird to Prey movie, but why is Harley Quinn in it? She's not a character in the comics. That's well, the they've actually they're started to put her into it. So... I mean, they've got that new, they've got that new oversized um, black label book. Oh, wait a minute. We haven't even talked about that. That's in the latest previews for February. It's Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. And yeah, we'll have to talk about that later. I like the Sandra Kane look, um, but not to take over the whole character. Yeah, yeah. Well, the only reason to have her covering her whole face was to hide who she was, you know? Right. And I just, it just, you know, whatever. Uh, New Avengers number three. This is uh, Sandoval on art, who I really, really like his stuff. His over the top, you know, character designs and so forth. So this is cool. Um, this one's actually pretty awesome. Uh, this is an issue of Young Avengers. This is the original run. Uh, this is issue number twelve with uh, Jimmy Chung on art, and uh, he did a fantastic job on that series. So it's nice to pick up an issue every now and then. This is another one that I picked up because somebody was looking for him. This is uh, Angela, Queen of Hell. This is the character that was originally created by uh, Neil Gaiman in Spawn. And he, uh, in order to kind of like to uh, Image and Todd McFarlane, he uh, kind of gave the character over to Marvel. And uh, uh, whatever. But yeah, I had somebody looking for issues of An Angela. So that's cool. Uh, this is an early New Warriors, issue number seven. Um, any of the new, the early issues of that series is pretty awesome with the Mark Bagley art. So I'm glad I picked this up. I may already have a copy of this in the store, but this one seemed like to be in pretty good condition, so it was worth picking up. Uh, oh, I did pick up some Martha Washington's Go to War. Actually, I think I have two of those in here. Let's see. Do I have another one? Yeah. Issues two and three uh, from the five-issue series. See, this was part when it was part of Legend. See, there's the Legend icon designed by Mike Mignola, by the way. But um, this is issues two and three of the follow-up to Give Me Liberty, Martha Washington Goes to War, so cool. This, I remember buying this one at the gas station. Uh, this is Emerald Dawn 2. There was a, there was an, a limited series called Emerald Dawn, that was the first one. But it was uh, like retelling the origin of Green Lantern back in the days when Sinestro was actually a Green Lantern and training him. And uh, it had fantastic art by Mark Bright and uh, an opportunity to try to pick up all these issues again presented itself. So I'm going to grab them. Uh, this one's issue number two of Emerald Dawn number two. It was a good story. We got Uncanny Avengers. This is one of the Rick Remender, uh, Daniel Acuna uh, issues. I am not a big fan of Daniel Acuna on art, Acuna on art, but sometimes his stuff is really, really good, but I'm not a fan. I don't know why. I just never, I, I wouldn't buy an issue just because he was the artist, but if I saw it and it looked good, I'd probably pick it up. That was weird, I know. Uh, we have an action comic rebirth issue, number 972, just a random one, nothing special about it. Uh, two X-Men issues uh, from the time when uh, Alan Davis was doing it. This is issue 85 and 93. Uh, nice covers. I like this one. Why are they all hunting Mystique? Ms. Miro. Mastermind, Sabretooth. I might have those. Or... Yeah, it could be interesting. Uh, See this... you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is one of the new Hawkman from uh, the new series that they're doing with uh, Brian Hitch. I think Brian Hitch did 12 issues in the series, so whenever I see one for cheap, I'll go ahead and pick it up just because. And this is actually a pretty fairly new one. So cool. And it's already in the 50 cent bin. Yeah, heaven forbid. Um, I went ahead and picked this up. This is the Black Canary from the New 52. Um, Brandon Fletcher, and I don't know who Wu is, the artist, but uh, I got the strange feeling people are going to start looking for Black Canary as well. Um, maybe her involvement with a movie or so. Oh, has anybody seen the trailer for the new Stargirl series on CW? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, it I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. Well, I think I like the character design. I think her character design is pretty fantastic, especially by uh, Lee Motor uh, yeah. on art. And yeah. so this was a 12 issue series, I think. And if I can get a couple more just to have in the store in case somebody's looking for them, you know, it could happen. 
Uh, another thing that will probably make uh, Black Canary a little bit more wanting uh, pretty soon, uh, probably in the next year or two or less, probably yeah. next year sometime, they're coming out with Green Arrow and the Canaries. Uh, his daughter's going to be Green Arrow. And it's going to take place in 2040. Oh, okay. 40. So. Okay. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, it's it's so weird. Well, it's not weird. It's predictable. Whenever yeah. something comic-wise hits other mediums, such as movies or TV shows, people come looking for the issues. People come looking for back issues, and they don't really care, you know, what issues they are. And they're not hunting issue number one. They're just hunting any of them. The boys, Hellboy, you know, they're all p- things people are looking for simply because they're in other mediums. So I try to, I try to predict that or prepare for that, and we'll see what happens. This is uh, Final Crisis, Legion of Three Worlds, issue number three of five. I don't know if I have this one. I know I have several issues of this series with the, with all the different covers, but um, this is a fantastic George Perez on art, so went ahead and picked it up anyway. And then last but not least, uh, Trans, uh, Trans, Trans Metropolitan. Uh, this is just a random issue. I had a guy come into the store, and he bought the first trade that I had of that, and then I showed him all the other issues I had. Um, I don't think I had this one, so if I can provide him some more issues, that's just something I can do, you know? It's uh, Warren Ellis and Derek Robertson, you know, fantastic stuff. Uh, Derek Robertson is also the guy who uh, did the art for the boys, so this seems like it could be a very relatable series into a TV series, so you never know what might happen. That is my pickups for today. And uh, these will all be in the store this weekend. If anybody's interested, come on by the Beach Boulevard Flea Market here in Jacksonville, Florida, units C23 and 25. And uh, come in and say hi. Tell me you saw the video. And I'll give you a free comic. Come in, tell me you saw this live stream or you saw one of my videos and you get a free comic. (laughs) I'll let you guys know if if something like that happens. That'll be funny if somebody does, but... All right. Whew. All right, you guys ready for some peep show stuff? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It was that was not, some, not, so, not something we want to peep at. Oh, Rick, I'm so glad you're here, man. Oh, oh, crap. I wanted to show you guys something. I had, I had come up with an idea um, for providing. Uh, I have prints that I have in the store of hero stuff. And. Um, I went ahead and put together, like, I originally thought about doing this as a coloring book, but it was only going to be, like, 10 pages. But um, I think I may redo the cover and do it as, like, a print set. But uh, what I was thinking about doing is uh, I have these 11 by 17. um, This is a a cover stock. Uh, It's a thicker paper, but it's kind of rough. So it's really good for, it'd be really good for using color pencils or markers or whatever on. But uh, what I did is I took 10 of my um, pinups that I liked and I printed them on one side of the sheet so that if you folded it in half and you put all 10, all five pages together with 10 images and put a cover on it like this, you know, wrap around cover, have a little information on the inside. I could sell it like as a coloring book, but I think it might work better as a print book to where somebody, uh, originally I was going to put a splash page in the middle, but if you fold it and put staples in it, you're going to ruin that one large print. So I, I will sell the, the full splash 11 by 17 print separately. But um, this is something I'm thinking about having in the store this weekend, but um I'm killing myself because I have a long neck stapler. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It's yeah. a stapler that's built onto long a long bar. neck stapler. Well, I can't find it. Let go it's, of my hand. This is exactly what that's for. It's You fold it and then you use the long neck stapler to staple it. You and, didn't get um, the reference, did you? No, I didn't get the reference. But um, I told my wife, I said, ah, screw it. I'm going to go to Office Depot or whatever, Office Max or whatever. I'll just buy a new one freaking thing was $42. I do not I do not remember paying that much when I bought it like a couple years ago. And I'm like, I'm not going to spend $42 on something I already own. I just need to I just need to find the one I have and I don't know where it's at. And, but my desk, my entire desk is totally in shambles. We're still moving and packing up stuff and putting stuff in the back room and 
I just need to get off my butt and find it. But uh, here, I'll show you the prints that'll that'll be available. These now, just imagine these these are folded. Uh, the inside is blank, so each page, it'll be an image, and then it'll be blank, and then there'll be another image. The idea is that if somebody wanted to actually color it, it wouldn't if it bled through, it wouldn't ruin you know something else printed on the back. But um, we have the hero book one cover uh, with hero Pudge and all the bad guys in the background. This is that one I was telling you guys about the image that I did for my sister, which is hero as Peter Pan with the alligator and the Tinkerbell. Then we have, this is one of the first pinups I did for hero book one of hero and the snake. This is, a, this is a redoing of the original uh, sketch that I did of hero, the inspiration for the entire first book, the first story. And this over here was the uh, image that I did for my mom, who is a Jacksonville Jaguar fan. So I have Hero and Pudge, and there's a Jaguar in the background. Uh, one of the things I realized, this book would probably work better as a print book than a, than a coloring book, because a lot of these images have a lot of gray wash in them, which that's like really hard. I think it would be difficult to color. If it was going to be a coloring book, it should be very open. And I'll consider that when I when I start working on something new. Uh, then we have the introduction of Hawkeye from uh, Hero Book One. I did throw in a background in the back of this, this gray in the background, in order just to fill out the image. Um, but it still looks good, and uh, it'll look fantastic when you guys see it in full color because Avery did a great job on that. Uh, then we have a, a pinup. This is actually a story page from Hero Book Two, and. Uh, the story about this particular one is when I showed it to my wife after I got done with it, she immediately looked at me and said, were you watching Disney's brother bear on Netflix? And I was like, yes, I was. Cause that, that was the inspiration for that pinup. Uh, then we have, then we have this one here, which is actually, that's a spoiler for hero book one, but you won't get the reference if you have, if you're not familiar with the book, but. This one is a page from Hero Book 2. This is part of Brock's story where he uh, single-handedly took on this giant alligator. And once again, when Avery colors that, it's going to be fantastic. And then the last two pages. Um, this was a drawing that I had done for Jen's grandmother for Christmas. Uh, originally, she had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grandchildren or great-grandchildren. Uh, since... I did this drawing, she had an eighth one, so, but whatever. But at the time, she only had seven. So the idea was that was her, and that was her seven little grandbabies, great grandbabies. And so a little bit of symbolism in the picture. But, and then this here was uh, a pinup that I did for Hero Book 2. Uh, kind of, there's a chapter in which uh, they rescue uh, a, a new character from a spider web. And I kind of did this pinup. I, I tend to like to do. Um, a single image for each chapter of the book in order to get a feel for what the chapter's about. And even though the uh, spiders don't threaten Hero in that particular chapter, I did this as a, you know, this is something that could happen in the future type of thing. But uh, yeah, that's a pinup that I did for Hero Book 2. That's it. That's it. And then, uh, of course, you have the wraparound cover. And I'm, I'm killing myself because I didn't realize when I printed this, I'll show you guys, um, this is it folded is that it um cropped the around the bottom the side and the top it didn't it didn't do a full bleed uh, and that's probably my fault but i can either trim that for the entire book or when i reprint it put a white strip down the center so it'll even it out so i haven't decided what i'm going to do just yet but yep 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 White strip, you think a white strip will work? Yeah. But yeah, this is actually the black and white version of the cover for the new Hero Book One, which uh, I did earlier this year and Avery colored and he did a fantastic job. So once again, another thing that I, I truly appreciate his help with. But um, yeah, there's- That's like, all over. A sun, oh, stop saying that. There's, there's like is. sun. I just, whatever. Nighthawk, I think there's two more episodes to go for Crisis because there's supposed to be five episodes. You don't believe me? All right, let me let me let me let me read the chat and see what's going on because there was a lot. He's of in stuff denial. On. Yeah, he is. Who is me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to go back a little bit. It says, is that from New Jersey? Do you know said, something uh, I don't know? About what? Dude, you know me. I don't know nothing. Okay. Okay, let's go back. One Dillard more, says... One more person in my life being suspicious and shady. I'm not being suspicious or shady. I trust you. Andrew, suspicious or shady? No. No. no I don't even think he could do it if he tried. Oh, you gotta have... You gotta have a lot of brain cells to be suspicious. I don't have time. I don't have. I, I can't do it. I just can't. Oh, by the way, Avery, I went by uh, Ollie's tonight. You know, one of the places we uh, used to like to go. Absolutely nothing new, and still in a horrible, horrible displaying place. So there's so much there that's just not worth it. You know, oh, which is I, sad. I, I'm not gonna be buying any any kind of comics at all for a long, long time. Well, sometimes they have art books in there too, but the Still. display that they have just they they treat the books like pure crap, you know. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta catch something early. Yeah, yeah, but they don't have, like I said they didn't have anything new at all, so nothing worth writing home about. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Dillard says, eating delicious steel and buttery vegetables eats better than has 1% carbs. D says, look, it's Dr. Fung on YouTube. What? That All was right. talking about your, uh, when uh, uh, the Kodiak was talking with the, oh, okay. the needles. Well, all that. Well, I, no I noticed that Evan's pound sizing abandoned the chat on me, but you know, I don't, I don't ever abandon you guys. I will definitely go back and read all this. That might actually be the name of the doctor I'm talking about. I don't know. Man, I, I really need one of you guys to read the chat while we're, while we're doing this thing, you know? Well, I, I was trying to. Oh, I know. I, I you, know. you interrupt. <laughs> you never I stop do. talking. I <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can say something to him. I tried to say something to him, and he just kept. He said, "Well, it's going to be great when Avery colors this." It's like, dude, <laughs> if you're not gonna if you're not gonna finish coloring Hero Book Two, I'm gonna have to learn how to use these crayons a lot better. I, I, I can't. Did you get a new job? I will in January. Oh, okay, okay. There's no Maybe. point in getting and applying right now because that'd just be Christmas help, and they, you know. Yeah, and most likely let you go in January. Exactly. Evan says. Also, I think Andrew's free comic deal is prejudice against people who aren't in Florida. <laughs> Evan, yeah. Evan. It is kind of biased to Floridians. You want to know? Actually, why? it's only actually it's even more than that. It's biased just to people who live in the Jacksonville, Florida area. Yeah. Hey, Jacksonville's a pretty big place. There's a lot of people out there who uh, could be listening to this uh, to this uh, broadcast right now. And there is somebody out there right now listening to this broadcast going, I'm getting a free comic tomorrow. Yeah, we know who. Advent. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that's what I'm... I was going to say. Somebody that's already, <laughs> already a customer. You know, Ahmed's going to be so pissed because he's actually, he's uh, <laughs> he's visiting relatives, so he's gone this weekend. And I didn't realize, I forgot about them. Maybe I forgot. Maybe I already knew. Maybe I forgot. But um, Subconsciously knew. <laughs> yeah, so he won't be, uh, he won't be. Well, he um he came in this past weekend and he brought a whole bunch, he brought those TV series that I was interested in getting from him last time. And, um, but last time he wanted cash because he was going Black Friday shopping. I didn't have the cash. Well, he brought him back and said, how about credit? And I said, okay. So I made him a deal on credit. And uh, he, he cleared out pretty much all my Captain Americas, all my Punishers, all my Wolverines. And uh, we made a pretty good deal. I, th I think he was happy. Pretty much had two small boxes filled with comics. So, But I think he's happy. At least I hope he's happy. Now I want to try something real quick. I think my FaceTime camera needs to be reset, but let me double check. I mean, the last thing you guys want to do is actually see my face, but... Did you say your FaceTime camera? Yeah, the camera that's in, in, the, in the computer that faces me. The one that's overhead, this one right here that I use for drawing, is my... Uh, what does it come as? It's the uh, HD Pro webcam, but the FaceTime is the built-in camera for the Mac, so... And it's not working. I have to reset my computer. Finally, finish this drawing that I've taken. Oh no, I got it erased. Well, show it to us. 
I can't. Why not? There's both bobs and a penis. So. <gasps> we'll cover the them same, over. Does the same person have both? No. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Oh, oh, I forgot. You guys want uh, want me to open up this box from Doug? No. No one cares. All oh, right, well. No. You should do a special video for that. I thought I would just because, you know, you got it before all the mess. But <coughs> Yeah, I did. I Well, I, I think I ordered it. No, no. I was going to say I ordered it before the mess. But no, the mess was going on. I just didn't realize it because I had asked Avery. I said, hey, I'm ordering a copy. You want me to get you one for like your birthday or Christmas? And he's like, no, I don't want anything to do with that. And I didn't realize what was happening at the time. It wasn't until oh. a little later that I got filled in. And yeah. Avery's usually way ahead of this crap than I am. So, <sighs> oh, well, I still when wanted you got, it. When you got, got Kelsey even saying, yeah, that Doug's kind of acting shady. That that's he loves Doug. He he kind of I like Kelsey because he's kind of like me, where you, you don't want to let go of somebody. You you want to let their faults be their faults, but yeah, dude's dude's not a good dude. I don't think. Mm. Well, <sighs> it happens. Don't ever get don't ever get to don't, don't, what is that old phrase? Yeah, you meet your heroes. Yeah, this is you know? true. Except me. If if I'm your hero and you meet me, you'll be thoroughly impressed and everybody will be jealous of of the fact that you got to meet me. Isn't that the truth? So what if Don't we ever, ever got hero. so what if we got to meet hero in person? <laughs> I am hero. I write my character as myself, or I write myself into my character. So if if you meet me, you're meeting the true hero of, of the world. That's me. God, I wish my FaceTime camera would be working right now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can just turn this around. <gasps> You're upside down. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's all right. So, oh, well. All right, well, guys, I know it's kind of late, and we did get a late start, but I appreciate everybody coming. Oh, Ahmed, you're here. <laughs> guys, don't tell Ahmed about the free comic thing. <laughs> don't tell him. <laughs> hey, Ahmed. Make sure you get down to uh, Andrew's store to get a free comic this weekend. <laughs> I'll take trust me. I'll take care of him, and he's a good kid, and I appreciate him. He and I don't know if I told ever told you guys the story about I had built a rack for my DVD that I have on sale, and uh, I wanted to put. Um, we don't want to hear about your rack. I wanted to put. I wanted to put. Um, you have a rack. Wheels. <laughs> I thought you were a guy. <laughs> I wanted to put wheels on the bottom of the dvd display shelf that i built so i had to take everything off and it just so happened that ahmed came into the store and my son came into the store so i had them help me put everything back up but we did it in alphabetical order so we took the time to put all the dvds back up in alphabetical order and that is probably one people that come in looking at the dvds in my store that's probably one of the biggest things they say is how much they appreciate that i took the time to put everything in alphabetical order and i said yeah i know that was all me <laughs> No, no, I tell him. I tell him Ahmed and Mike helped me a little bit, a little bit. But uh, everybody, Nighthawk, Evan, uh, Ahmed, uh, everybody, thank you guys so much for coming by and saying hi. And uh, I appreciate it. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Um, we're getting ready to get into the holidays, so everybody's schedules is going to be busy or, 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 or just busy, period. So if you're able to stop by when we live stream again, say hi, and I appreciate it. I, we all appreciate everything. You guys are out. You're out there. You're the audience, and we appreciate it. So I don't know how many more times I can say the same thing. So shows you how good I am with words. But uh, does anybody want to promote anything? I, I, I always forget that part, and I figured I'd go ahead and throw it out there. Cross, uh, yeah. what you got going on this week? Just tomorrow, probably I think around 2 Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to get on and sort my comics, and everybody will get to see my whole comic collection. Very nice. Do you got any uh, contests go going on right now? Uh, yeah, I have my fan art contest, which I have each week. Yeah, uh, what, They can what? look on my my Twitter page. It's posted at the top. Uh, forget what the character is at the moment. And <laughs> and of course, I have my Canadian Shield, draw the Canadian Shield uh, going on right now. I'm not sure what the prizes are. That's going till the end of this December. Oh, how did your uh, Color the Canadian Shield contest go? Uh, it went pretty good. We got three entries. Um, <laughs> you needed 22, right? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think it was Raggedy One or Flip. Oh, okay. Ra no, Raggedy One, but he's in doing something with uh, Pope Raven. No, not Pope Raven. Uh, Pope Fire. Um, a book, Evan, so, so he had to. Evan is saying something about, I would like to promote Rick fixing his computer. <laughs> Did you have yeah. to fix your computer? Uh, well, I did a stream earlier today, and it, the things were just horrible. Oh, yeah? Internet problems or computer problems? I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's my laptop. So I've since then, I've taken a bunch of stuff off my C drive, and I'm putting it on mm. my other. And I'm hoping to reformat and all that. Evan says, I would also like to promote the new pound sign draw COR contest for drawing Sailor Scouts as Cult of Raven members. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Wait a minute, wouldn't it be better the other way around? Draw Cult of Raven members as Sailor Scouts? That's what he means. Oh, okay. Raggedy Man is doing a webcomic called Relentless. It's Pope Fire's comic book stories. Oh, oh, that's okay. what I think he means. Very cool. All right. Um, Kodiak, you got anything going on this week that you want to share? No. No? Nope. All right. Hey, Avery. I know you're still there. Unless he's passed out. <laughs> uh, he's got to work in the morning, so I know he's probably tired. So. What? Oh, I was just asking if you had anything you I wanted to promote. I said what like five times. Well, I only heard you just that last time, so. No, there's nothing to promote. Okay. All right, everybody. Take it easy. Have a good night, and uh, we'll see you next time.